Good afternoon, this is Jonathan from Casco Manufacturing and Herd Seating Company. Today we're going to go over centering the spread pattern on this little GT77. It's going to be a little informative video. The only thing that you're going to need to do this is one 7 16 wrench. That is the only tool required. And I'm going to go into the reasoning of why you would do this. Uh, most people don't realize that when you're broadcasting seed, all seeds or all material has a different weight and density. So it's going to carry on that fan a different distance. The smaller, denser seeds tend to carry on the fan a very short time and trail right off. Okay, whereas a lighter, uh, more fluffy seed is going to carry on that fan for a longer distance and throw the pattern more, I would say, to the right here. So with this unit is actually fully adjustable so we can affect where we drop the seed on the fan and keep that spread pattern right out the back of the unit where it needs to be. Okay, on the back of the cedar here, you're gonna see the letters A through K and that corresponds to your base plate here and the alignment of it. Okay, right now we have it set right in the center and that's gonna be good for most grass, you know, standard grass seeds that you would put, let's say, in your yard, okay? This base plate is fully adjustable. Like I said, the lower letters here, uh, for example, like if we were gonna do clover, we would set it right on C for clover. And how you align that is right in the middle, okay, of this um, control plate here, there is a small recess and you wanna line that up with your letter. Like right now it would be on F, okay? Your small seeds like clovers, alfalfas, uh, brassicas, that type of thing, is probably going to be on this end, you know, A, B, or C, all right? Your lighter stuff, like your orchard grass, brome grass, all of the, even some of the warm season stuff is going to be towards the other end here, probably more of an I or a J, okay? We're going to go through how to actually set that here in just one moment. Okay, underneath the spreader, we've got the stainless steel base plate, and we've got the big curved slots, okay, and that's where we're gonna pivot. There's a 7 16 uh, wrench, you know, that we talked about for that quarter inch bolt. We are gonna actually loosen, let me go the right way, we're gonna loosen it up. And then there's another one on the other side that we also have to loosen. I've already done that on this unit, but you definitely need to make sure you loosen both sides. Now that we've loosened both of the quarter inch bolts to hold the base plate, it will freely move from one side to the other. We're gonna go ahead and set this for clover. A lot of people use clover in this uh, cedar. As a matter of fact, that's what it was designed for back in the early days. We're gonna adjust it right over and use the center line of our, of our numbers here, of our um, control plate, and line that right up on C for clover. Then we're gonna take our 7 16th wrench and we're gonna make sure that we lock those down so we don't have any movement out in the field. The one uh, additional thing is you want to make sure you actually pull this back a little bit. There really shouldn't be much movement there on a new unit, but on older units, if they've been adjusted a lot of times, you can have a slight bit of movement. So you want to make sure you pull back, have it lined up, and then, like, a, like I said, make sure that you lock it down with that 7 16th wrench to make sure it doesn't move in the field. Okay, we're going to start on this side. And these aren't large bolts, so you don't need to put... A, you know, a lot of torque on them, but you do want to make sure it's snug. Okay, we've got this one. And then, of course, we are going to swing over to the other side. Go ahead and lock that down. All right, now we are set to go. Well, I hope this helped. And, you know, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to give us a call. Uh, the phone number is 1-800-458-9129. Thank you.